In this video, I'm testing out two very commonly used herbicides that I use in my weed control and fertilization business on a very common weed, and I'm gonna see which one works better, and maybe in particular, which one works faster. Let's get started right now. Today's video is sponsored by my friends at Graham Spray Equipment. If you need a spray rig for your business, go to GrahamSE.com. I know they have some smaller rigs on the lot, ready to go, 200 gallon, 225, things like that. So give those guys a call. They're in Douglasville, Georgia. So let me show you the weed first. Then I'm gonna show you the two products we're testing out. Then we're gonna mix up the products. Then we're gonna spray the weeds and check on it and see which one works better. We may actually test out two or three weeds. I don't know. Let's just see what we can find here. But the primary weed that I was gonna take a look at in this video is Spurge. This hillside doesn't get maintained very well. So I've got a, a giant Spurge right here. Very common summer weed. And oftentimes, if you need help identifying, I think when you pull it, break it off here, it'll have like a milky white substance coming out of the end of it. Let's see if we can make something happen. If you can see the plant there, I broke it off. There's a little bit of white creamy stuff that comes out of the plant when you break it off. So anyway, this is a giant spurge. Let me see if I can find a comparable one that we can spray the other product on. Here's another sample that's not quite as big, but anyway, we'll spray one with one product, one with the other. And again, we might try another weed, maybe like one of these uh, dandelions or false dandelions or whatever. We'll try to find comparable weeds for both products so it'll be a fair matchup. Let's go see the products. All right, these are the two products. These are products that I use a lot when I am out spraying yards. Now, oftentimes, I just spot treat with these. Sometimes I'll put change up over here in the tank at 12 ounces per acre, but often I'm putting these in a little small handheld sprayer like this and just spot treating weeds around the yard. These products are not that expensive when you're doing that, but sometimes when homeowners see the price on, they have sticker shock because that Celsius might cost $100, maybe a little more, I'm not sure. And change up, I mean, this big jug is, I don't know, probably 200 and some dollars. You can get it in a smaller quantity. But it goes a really, really, really long way. So if you're out spot treating weeds, I mean, that would last you know, for a long time. So I'm gonna go with the high rate on both of these. Change up, I'm putting about three quarters of an ounce in per gallon of water in one of these sprayers, and I do add surfactant. Celsius, I have a measuring scoop. It also sometimes comes with a little cap on top of the bottle that uh, you can use for the measuring rate. And the, the high rate, I believe, is 0.113 ounces per thousand square feet which oftentimes we equate with a gallon of water if you spray lightly but i have a handy little measuring spoon that works better than that cap in my opinion so let me mix those up i've actually got the celsius already mixed up i need to mix up a little bit of change up again one gallon of water 0.75 ounces of change up and a little bit of surfactant and then we're going to spray the weeds and we'll see which one of these works faster both great products oftentimes i'll take one of these products and i'll mix it with a sedge product so like i take celsius and mix it with certainty a lot of times and that'll get a lot of weeds in your warm season lawns or i might take change up and mix it with certainty or change up and mix it with pro sedge or change up and mix it with solero something like that so the change up is going to do great on the broadleaf weeds but not good on the sedges so you put a sedge product with it and then you got a pretty good combination to go spot treat weeds in the lawn i'll put links in the description below to the products used in this video let me mix up the change up and we'll go start spraying of course when you make these applications wear your ppe rubber gloves rubber boots long sleeve shirt long pants things like that and always follow the label all right so i've got two weeds each for each product and the first weed was the original intent of the video is the spurge so i'm going to spray this on the left side here with celsius and it's got a little bit of advantage with a slightly smaller spurge and then this big thing that uh, might be a dandelion false dandelion something like that and then for the change up it's going to have to tackle a slightly bigger patch of spurge which i don't think is a big deal and then also another big dandelion looking plant i say dandelion looking plant because there is dandelion false dandelion you know things like that so i'm not 100 sure what that is but i wouldn't be surprised if it has a yellow dandelion looking flower on it at some point we'll spray these weeds and check on the progress and see which one works fastest we're likely only going to give this project about three or four days to work so we're going to see what kind of damage they could do in three to four days all right first up is the celsius let's spray the two weeds and next up is the change up
I would expect some fast results. We'll check back soon. It's been 24 hours. Let's give a checkup. All right, first up, we got the Celsius. You see some wilting in the weed just a little bit on the spurge, not a whole lot. It looks very similar on the dandelion. Looks like it's starting to wilt a little bit, slight discoloration. Change up, you can see kind of some of these leaves. You can see the, the back side of the leaf because the, the plant's starting to curl up a little bit. Not a lot more difference, honestly, between the two, between the change up sample and the Celsius sample. And let's look at change up on the, the dandelion. Similar, just a little bit of curling, not much going on. I'm hoping the results will be obvious in a couple more days, but we'll, we may have to give it some more time, so we'll see. It's a three-day update on the weeds, and let's see what we got. This is the Celsius update. The dandelion definitely starting to wilt more. The spurge definitely looking worse as well. We're probably going to have to continue this video longer than I had anticipated. I'm going out of town for a few days, so by the time I get back, it's going to be probably a little over a week. So we should see some really serious damage on the next update. Let's see what's going on with the change-up sample. Change-up, I would say, slight advantage on the wilting we're getting from the dandelion. And as far as the gigantic spurge goes, looks fairly comparable. Again, I just didn't give it enough time. I thought it might work a little faster, but when I come back, uh, I think some serious changes will be seen on the next update. So I think we're at eight days since the initial applications. I'm sorry I couldn't give you more frequent updates. I've been out of town, but I'm back now, so let's see what's happened. This will be our final checkup as we wrap up the video. Start off with the Celsius application. After eight days, you can see some severe wilting going on with the dandelion which is good to see. It will probably continue to look worse and worse as time goes on. I feel confident it's gonna actually kill the plant. And with the spurge, same thing, eight days in. As much wilting, but definitely discoloring the plant. I do think it will also continue to deteriorate. But part of the reason we did this video was to see which one was faster, okay? So these, it is gonna work, I have no doubt in my mind. Uh, this is the results you get after eight days. On the change up with the dandelion, it looks comparable i would say this dandelion is slightly more damaged than the other again i do think it will die i think it'll continue to look worse and worse over time but not bad results after eight days if you were to run over that with a lawnmower and cut it off i seriously doubt it's going to grow back and with the spurge i think this is our clear winner on the spurge uh, more serious damage than we got on the celsius that's good to see for fast results. This is not a video to show you which is a superior product. They're actually both outstanding products. I use them a lot. But if you want speed, looks like changeup is going to give you a slight advantage on the speed for these particular weeds. Celsius is going to have some advantages on grassy weeds where changeup's not really very good on grassy weeds. So they both have their place. Changeup's going to be a little bit cheaper product per thousand square feet. Uh, than Celsius is. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Creel. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to get into weed control and fertilization, go to lioncarelife.com. There's a lot of resources available for you there for mosquito spraying, mowing grass, all kind of stuff. We'll see you guys in the next video.